the acromioclavicular joint, again, palpate, probe on. So we line up and we see our clavicle and our distal acromion. We assess the joint capsule, we scan anteriorly, we scan posteriorly. So we go the whole way through that joint from the front to the back. We assess what's happening at the bony morphology of the distal end of the clavicle, assessing for osteolysis. We assess the capsule for irregularity if it's post-trauma or degenerative. To assess the stability of our AC joint, we can take our arm up into forward flexion and horizontal flexion and horizontal extension. And we have a nice stable AC joint. We can also have a look in weight bearing. So just put your hand on the chair there and just push in through there, good and relax. And again, push through that arm, lift your bottom up and relax. We have a nice stable AC joint. Relax that in your lap. From the AC joint in long axis, we can also assess it in short axis. So as we get in through here, we're now short axis on the joint in through here. We see that circular nature of the joint. We see our rotator cuff sitting down below. As we fan our probe more medial, we're on the clavicle and as we get lateral, we're on the acromion. So we're now short axis in the joint. And this is a lovely way to do our joint injections. Let's move the cord out of the way here. So you'd sterilize your area, go short axis on the joint because we know we're in the joint. And then bring your needle in from about a centimeter down and a, a pretty straight approach. And you get a nice little AC joint injection. Very nice way, very quick and easy way to do an AC joint injection. So find your acromion, sorry, find your clavicle, find your acromion. In the middle, see the joint and short axis, drop your needle in. Mm -hmm.